Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my challenge. You guys can tell this is going to be a general reading for my lovely Pisces. This can be for sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it. Or you could just be curious. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts. Um, I've already shuffled off camera, so we're going to just pull some cards. Um, I'm doing a reading a little bit different, so it's whatever comes out, okay? Um, and then we'll pull like three to four cards, uh, three to four cards. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, three to four cards, um, to see your person's energy, whoever you're thinking about or whoever's coming towards you. Okay. But we want to focus more on self, um, in order for us to cultivate that energy, it starts within and then goes outward. Okay. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have, um, the full car. Hopefully you guys can see all this. Let me shift this over. Okay, there we go. We have the full card, all right, which is Aries energy in this particular deck. It can also be Aquarius too. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table. But um, it can be Aquarius energy as well in this deck. Okay, so um, you could be on the brink or you are starting a new beginning, okay, or wanting to go on a new journey. I don't know if you're aware of that. But everything in your environment is either now leading to it or in the near future, you'll kind of have like a domino effect. I'm here, okay? A little bit of like a tower energy, I'm feeling intuitively. Um, you could have already went through the tower or it could be coming, okay? But it's leading to like a new journey or taking a leap of faith, okay? Into the unknown, I'm feeling all right. Um you could be shaking the table on something, okay? Because I said that earlier and that stuck out to me a lot. Okay, so you could be shaking things up in your life, which kind of what, what we just spoke about, kind of, okay? You know what I'm saying? Um, or you could be shaking the table with other people, okay? I don't know. You would know what that means, okay? But whatever choices or decisions or behavior that you have is shaking up other people or other situations or other environments as well as your life as well too okay um we have six of pentacles okay so time is fluid so this could be current past future um and whenever you find this message it's meant for you my loves okay so six six of pentacles you're looking for like equal give and take okay um equal give and take um more balance as well, too, I think, within, but also within your connections. I'm here in Pisces, okay? This could be romantically, but it could just be in all of your connections, okay? Take it how it resonates for you or how it applies to your life, honestly, okay? Um, You have Ten of Wands, okay? So you're having an ending, okay? It could be within a family, okay? Um... I'm here like a child's mother, okay? It could be like a... I'm hearing family, okay? So whatever that means to you, okay? Um, but family, okay? Or you could be wanting things to be more balanced in your family, okay? Or within your family unit, all right? A lack of balance could be uh, resulting in an ending. I'm hearing Pisces, okay? Usually, I, I talk about, like, not taking baggage. But for you, intuitively, I feel that you've learned a lesson, okay? You could be moving homes as well, I'm hearing, okay? You're looking for a new place. Um... But I feel like you you learn a lesson. I don't I don't think you want to take the baggage with you anymore, okay? Or somebody could be ending something with you to come towards you, okay? Um, you feel like that that this connection could be more balanced for you, more harmonious. Um, it could give you the ten of pentacles, okay? You and this person both feel this way. That um this is a connection that you guys have always like waited for or have always wanted. Um, and one of you guys may have to leave some things behind, okay? It might be a very like painful cycle I'm hearing, okay? Or it may be like a lot of things that you need to leave behind in order to make this connection work, okay? 
that's just one scenario for somebody. It doesn't have to be, okay? But I get a sense of like sacrificing on like general terms. Something intuitively I feel is you have to sacrifice. You are this person of both, okay? Um, in order to create more balance in your life. It doesn't have to be with a person. It could be. But it's a sense of wanting to have more balance um, and kind of cultivate this energy. You're realizing that you have to sacrifice something and, and kind of walk away and, and end something. Okay. But when we think of an ending, uh, a death is always a brand new beginning. Okay. So when I speak of death, I think of like, I think of, um, of like death and rebirth. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. Or have that somewhere in your energy. Okay. Uh, somewhere in your chart, possibly. It doesn't have to be, okay? Um, your potential challenge is nine of wands, okay? So you could be getting a little weary. I'm hearing Pisces, okay? You could have been like fighting like an uphill, uh, uh, uphill battle, is that the saying? Or like an upheaval? I don't know. Something, something could have happened. Um, how can I put this? You could have had a lot of challenges in the past year or over the past few years, okay, so um, you could be, like, kind of tired, okay, but you're, you're almost to the, to the finish line, Pisces, I'm hearing, okay, because that's your challenge, not a wand, so there's a strong need for you not to give up, I'm hearing, okay, this could be on yourself, it could be a particular circumstance, it could be within this connection or, or within your family, okay, Whatever that means to you, okay? Um, your potential outcome is a page of cups, okay? So, it could be some type of romantic offer. You wanted to start something new with somebody, okay? Or somebody wanted to start something new with you, okay? It could kind of be like a love at first sight type of thing or... You could feel like that you're being swept off your feet, okay? Be mindful of this, Pisces, okay? <laughs> Be mindful, all right? Um, that you're grounded, okay? And that you're realistic with your expectations and romance and what this particular person can give to you if you already know who this is, Okay? You can be a very, like, romantic, fantasized type of person. So just make sure that the energy that you're cultivating going forward or whoever you're calling in or whoever you're engaging with can actually give you this, okay, at this point in time, all right? And that you're not, like, um, fantasizing something, okay, um, that's not really realistic, okay? I know I feel like I'm bursting your bubble. I'm sorry, Pisces. I have Pisces in my chart, so I understand. Um, and it can be challenging, okay? But um, as you mature, I'm hearing. That's the word I'm hearing, okay? Um, I don't know why I'm hearing it that way, okay? And I said that with love, but um, you're being more... And that could be the energy that you're in. You could have somebody coming towards you, and you could feel like that they have a lot of baggage, Pisces. And that could be very concerning for you. Okay. Um, and when I say that, I just feel like that's so offensive. But you could feel that the person needs more maturing Pisces. Or they have, or there needs to be more maturing within the connection. Or you and the person are, are not on the same page, I'm hearing, Okay. So you're being mindful to not be swept off of your feet, all right? Uh, your advice is the two of wands, okay? So um, do you want to stay in your comfort? Well, number one, there's, there's a decision that needs to be made. If you're going to stay in your comfort zone, Pisces, uh, in the old of what you already know, um, that could be a person, that could be a situation, that could be a plethora of things. Or if you're going to go towards the new, all right, which is the unknown, all right, and kind of really cultivate and, uh, it was another word I was thinking of, but cultivate and have the life that you, that you desire, okay, 
and that you deserve, Pisces, okay? Whatever situation that you're in right now, Pisces, you could feel like that you deserve more, okay? And only you'll know why that is, or you could feel like that you just aren't able to have that in this situation, okay? Or with this person, okay? You're looking for something more balanced, okay? It's a new adventure that you're supposed to go on, Pisces, but I feel a little bit of hesitant uh, or hesitancy. Is that the word? I don't know. But, um, I feel a little bit of that, okay? So, um, a little bit of uneasiness about it, okay? There's a need for you to make a decision, though, Pisces, okay? There's a need for you to make a decision. Whether you like it or not, okay? Um, you could have a tower in the near future or you've already had one, okay? So you could have Aries in your chart, okay, as well. Um, like maybe a Venus and Aries, I'm hearing. Um, and it's going to break down whatever that is not satisfying you right now. Or that is not for your greatest good in order to build something back up, whether you like it or not. That's what I'm feeling intuitively or hearing intuitively, okay? For your person's energy, they have, or whoever's coming towards you, I should say, they have the three of pentacles, okay? So someone wants to work with you, Pisces. We have the Empress card and the Knight of Swords, okay? So um, you could be dealing with the Libra or have that somewhere in your chart, possibly. I don't know, it could be. Or that could be the energy, okay? Um, this could be, I heard like a uh, child's mother earlier, okay? So this has something to do with your child's mother or somebody could be, you or the person could be pregnant. Um, it doesn't have to be, okay? Uh, Empress represents uh, its fertility and creativity, okay? That could be giving birth to a child, doesn't have to be. We can create and cultivate new ideas, um, new projects, uh, new create a uh, new um careers a plethora of things we can give birth to okay so it could be someone it could just be something okay <laughs> all right so you'll know how that resonates for you okay you could be heavily tied to, tied to this person pisces or have a strong sense of loyalty to this person i'm hearing okay knight of swords uh you don't want to you or this person Doesn't want to make a hasty decision, which we're talking about your person's energy. So I had to catch myself, but you could be not wanting to make a hasty decision. Okay. But this person wants to work with you. Okay. They want to birth something new. They could possibly want to start a, a new family, uh, a new family. <laughs> they could be wanting to start a family with you. Okay. Uh, you could already have a family outside of the Pisces. Okay. You know, um, you'll know how, what that means for you. Um, they could be wanting to rush towards you, Pisces, okay? Be very hasty, okay? This person could be very emotional right now, Pisces, okay? You or this person are both, okay? I'm hearing that they don't want to miss out on an opportunity, okay? But what's for us can never miss us, all right? Or that could be how you feel, Pisces, all right? But just remember, what's for you can never miss you, all right? So lead with your heart, okay? Do what's best for you and what brings love to you and happiness, all right? For your lover's oracles, you have lover's oracles, excuse me. You have twin flames, your passionate nights, okay? So very passionate union, all right? Um, you could have learned a lot of lessons with this person, or you will, all right? Which makes sense with the Ten of Wands, the intuitive message I picked up on. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on, okay? So this is somebody that you could know or or you could not, okay? This could be a, a brand new person outside of this uh, situation um, that you hadn't even thought of or you hadn't seen in a while or... You haven't even met yet, okay? Possibly. 
But with the secret of mind, this is somebody that knows you, okay? Somebody that is aware of you. I'm hearing that watches you. I don't get like a weird vibe with the Pisces, but um, they've been observing you, getting to know you, whether you know that or not, okay? Um, or this could be you, Pisces, all right? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others, okay? So there's a need, Pisces, for you to, uh, like I said earlier, follow your intuition, follow your heart, okay? What really ignites you and what really uh, brings you happiness, okay? Not others, but you, though, Pisces, okay? Do what feels best for you, not other people, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get a lesson card, my loves. I feel called to take this one. Surrender. I release my need to control, okay? So you could be struggling with some control issues right now, Pisces, okay? Um, you can't control everything, though, my loves, okay? So be mindful of that, all right? Address the most important thing right now, okay? Um, imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind, okay? So there's a strong need for you to focus more on creativity, okay? A sense of, like, happiness and self I'm hearing, okay? Self-love. There's a strong emphasis on self-love and doing what makes you feel good, okay? Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness, okay? So wherever you are right now in your life, whether this is with someone or with or without someone I'm here, okay? You want to expand, okay? And wherever you are, you feel very stifled in that. And your soul is calling you to branch out, Pisces, okay? Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, okay? Always, all right? So even if you feel like it's not going to work out for you or you feel like that it's a challenging time for you, everything is going to work out on your better half, okay? And it's going to lead to a brand new beginning, a, a more balanced, a more harmonious, a more happier Pisces. All right, I'm hearing. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a positive affirmation, my loves. I feel called to this one. Oh, we already had that one from so many other readings. Let me pull another one. I feel like some cards I just get all the time. I'm not sure why. Um, I am releasing my poverty mindset. I'm going to read it two more times. My loves speak into existence. I am releasing my property mindset, and I'm releasing my property mindset. I shame so it shall be. All right, so say that, my loves, how many times you need to say to speak into your existence. We talked about prosperity and abundance and expanding your consciousness and your awareness, okay? So in, in order for you to do that, it starts in the mind first, all right? And then uh, it manifests into our reality, I'm hearing, okay? So we have to let go of that limiting mindset, Pisces, all right? That's truly what's holding you back. It's really not your circumstances. It's more of just your mindset, what you see for yourself and what you deem as possible, okay? So move away from a limited um, mindset or a limited uh, opportunity to move more into a limitless mindset and limitless opportunities, okay? So, my loves, that's all I have for you today, okay? So, if this reading resonated with you or if you just simply enjoyed it, um, I would love to hear from you guys below in the comment section, all right? Um, let me know if it resonated with you. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, my loves, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you're cherished. Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.